DeFi fees are eating the world. Hello, crypto enthusiasts. Welcome back to Bitspools, your one-stop shop for all things crypto, where we break down the latest news and trends with a dash of snark and a sprinkle of sarcasm. Today, we're diving into the wild world of DeFi fees, and let me tell you, things are getting interesting. Get ready for a jaw-dropping revelation. Some DeFi protocols are raking in more fees than their base layer networks. Talk about flipping the script, right? Now, before we get into the nitty gritty, let's take a quick break and hear from our sponsor. Want to invest and earn money with successful crypto traders? Copy trades and earn money. Click the link in the video description to get started. All right, back to the main event. According to a recent report, Lido and Radium have been swimming in a pool of fees, collecting a whopping $37 million in just seven days. Meanwhile, Ethereum and Solana, the big boys on the block, only managed to rake in $25 million. Ouch. So what's going on here? Apparently, it's a growing trend and experts say it's only going to get bigger. The reason? Chain abstraction. Now, don't get lost in the jargon. It's basically like making DeFi apps invisible to the user so they don't even know a chain they're using. Imagine a world where you can access different DeFi protocols and apps from any chain. That's the future we're heading towards, and it's coming fast. Now, let's get into the juicy details. Lido, the liquid staking provider, is the king of the hill when it comes to fees, collecting a whopping $19.1 million in the past week. That's even more than Bitcoin, Ethereum, Solana, and Tron combined. Lido's success is due to its popular Steth token, which allows holders to earn rewards while maintaining liquidity. It's like the best of both worlds, right? Following closely behind Lido is Radium an automated market maker on Solana. They've collected $18 million in fees, which they use to incentivize liquidity providers, buy back their own token, and grow their treasury. And speaking of Radium, they're a hotbed for memcoins. They've got pools for Soul Fight, Soul Ear, and Soul DJT, which are all inspired by the recent drama surrounding Donald Trump. See? Crypto is all about the drama. Uniswap, the OG automated market maker on Ethereum, comes in third with $9 million in fees. They've expanded to other networks like Base, Arbitrum, and Zeek Sync, so they're reaching even more users. Their secret. They charge a 0.3% fee on every swap, which goes straight to liquidity providers. Aave, the leading lending platform, isn't far behind with $6.3 million in fees. They collect fees from borrowers, depositors, and flash loan users. And they share the loot with the Avdao and those who stake their AV tokens. Rounding out the top five is PancakeSwap a protocol on BNB chain that's similar to Radium and Uniswap. They collected $5.7 million in fees, and they reward their liquidity providers with a juicy chunk of the pie. And if you're wondering who else is making waves in the fee game, keep your eye on Jito and Maker. They've both collected over $5 million in fees. Now, let's not forget the important question. What does this mean for you? Well, if you're a DeFi user, you're going to be paying more in fees, but you'll also be able to access a wider range of protocols and apps. And if you're a liquidity provider, you're going to be making a pretty penny. It's an exciting time for DeFi, and it's clear that the fee-based model is here to stay. With chain abstraction becoming more prevalent, we can expect to see even more DeFi protocols generating huge fees in the coming months. So stay tuned, crypto enthusiasts. The world of DeFi is moving fast, and we're going to be right here breaking down the news and trends with our usual dose of snark and sarcasm. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and give it a like. Until next time, stay safe and keep your crypto close.